Who is your customer? Ooh, who is my customer? Yeah. I, I'm going to pause you there and go get another beer. Oh, no, finish mine. Really? You don't like it? It's, um... I'm I disappointed like... that you don't like this beer because this is like the California beer. Maybe that's why I don't like it. We're a California fan. I don't like the California wine either. Um, I think I would like the IPAs that are a tiny bit sweeter. Ugh. Well, you know me. I'm a cider person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, what was your question? Who is your customer? Who is my customer? Who, yes, I thought your, about that before. Who's your leader? Basically? I thought about it. Anyone who likes Leonard Cohen. That's it. It's very simple. If you like Leonard Cohen, you will probably like my book. Because exactly what inspired him inspires me. And yeah, we cool. see art the same way. Okay, you still didn't answer my question. Who is Who likes Leonard Cohen? Baby boomers. <laughs> boomers should buy my book. Millennials can all fuck off along with the dumb millennials and Gen Z. I am a millennial. I know. You don't want you don't want my book. Come on, be honest. You won't you don't want to read my book. Um just because of the woman in it. <laughs> Actually I read bits of it and I liked it, but I'm like oh, I don't want to read it about my husband, so no. Yeah, alright. Um Again, who likes Leonard Cohen? Who who fucking likes that? No one likes Leonard Cohen. So, but but whoever those people are, those are the people who will like my book. What do they like in Leonard Cohen? They like okay, sex. But the fact that Leonard Cohen saw sex as a symbol for spiritual fulfillment, for 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 like divine. Revelation. I don't know. Like the way that he he had this bizarre marriage between spirituality and sex, and 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 just this intensely driven sort of um, 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 pursuit of uh, of, a, of a deep engagement with life, philosophical, but always coming back around to the issues of, of love and 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 the desire for union and all that kind of stuff. Um, I think I don't know. Is that it? Okay. I don't know. But this throwing but, in but some based, Roman Greek mythology. Based too. on this answer, yeah. how erotic is your book? It's I mean, you know, okay, so this contradicts what I said in the beginning because I I, I saw the first, you know, twenty poems don't have too much to do with it. But I would say it's fairly erotic. I would say like that much of it is fairly erotic and that much of it is like intellectual and intellectual by intellectual you mean philosophical yeah is it all philosophical the remaining part i mean it's i think it's philosophical in a fun way it's like fun philosophical it's like it's not philosophical in a like oh my god this is fucking you know like oh look i have a comic <laughs> strip okay um, and it's the only one that's a comic. So it's about Nick Drake. Never, never mind. So it's not really about Nick Drake. 